dear, I didn't realize I was going live already. I, uh, sorry about that. I pushed um, some button on my camera trying to get it into orientation mode. Okay, so I think I'm live now. Sorry about that, everybody. I uh, said earlier, if any of you saw my blog post this morning or later this afternoon, that uh, I was expecting my stamp and trimmer to come. My UPS man delivering my stamp and trimmer and he did indeed do that and so um, here it is I'm pretty excited about it now I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get the whole thing in the camera I can turn it sideways and hopefully you can see it uh, I'm gonna stand up here um, just so I can see if any comments come in um, but here is the trimmer and uh, it's pretty light feeling. That was my first impression when I opened up the box. And um, I did watch a couple of other demonstrators um, show their trimmer. So I know a few things already. So uh, the first thing I'm really excited about is that it has a metric as well as imperial measurements. Many times I see videos by some European demonstrators and they do a great project but they only give the metric measurements and uh, I find it difficult to convert them so uh, I won't have to do that now I can just use the metric measurements um, another thing that was pointed out was that I don't know if you can see this but where this arm joins the main part of the board they have included etched marks in this gray part so that you can more easily see the actual measurements of when you're putting your paper along this guide here. So this is going to be fantastic. No more kind of guessing where, say, six and three eighths or six and four eighths, which is six and a half is. See, I can see it quite clearly there now. So this is the arm. And when I turn it over, the one thing I think that makes it lighter is that they've gotten rid of the storage. Now, I don't know about you, but I, I thought it was really exciting when I first got the trimmer. I liked the idea that there was storage behind it to keep some extra blades in, but then I never used it. I never used it at all. So I'm not going to miss that at all. It's got some nice little rubber feet here. And then um, this is a little bit more solid looking. The very first trimmer that I got, um, I pulled the arm out one day, gently, I will admit that, but it fell apart. So my husband tried to fix it, uh, which he did do, but um, it had a bit of a, a lump in the top because of the screw mark. So this one does feel a lot more solid, swinging in and out. So that's good. The other thing I'm noticing right now is this trimmer it sits more flat on the desk because I right away I've noticed that there's no uh, foot on the bottom of this piece. Whereas there was a foot, I think, or am I thinking of another trimmer? Hang on, I'm just gonna pull this trimmer here. Yes, see on the old trimmer, there's this little foot that you could pull out. Oh, and did you hear that? Yeah, the other issue with this trimmer was this uh, cutting track and scoring track would fall out. I remember having a customer come to a class and she couldn't cut her paper because her track had fallen out and we found it in the driveway later on because it had fallen out. So uh, that is not an issue anymore. There is no track that comes in and out so that's kind of handy um what else can i say about it? well here's the uh cutting blade it's still the gray color and the uh pale gray or what i like to call uh kind of a sahara sand color this is the scoring blade um one thing i've noticed is the little point is no longer there but there is a little tiny score mark there so that when you're doing a lot of fun folds you may have to cut in the middle of the cardstock and so you would use that little point to tell where you were on your ruler 
but you're just going to have to watch for that little score line. I don't think that's going to be an issue. Um, let's see. This there's no locking a locking mechanism either anymore. It kind of does just snap in place. I don't know if you can hear that. So that's another thing they've taken away. Now there is some plastic paper, plastic coating on here. You could leave that on um, as you're working with it and then when it starts to peel away you can just take it off or you can go ahead and and peel it off and take all that plastic coating off the scoreboard. What else can I say about it? How about if we do a cut test and a scoring test? Alright, so I took out, here's some DSP that I need to cut up and so I'm going to cut my DSP in four inch strips because I'm going to be making some cards with this new Halloween paper. Okay, that seems to be nice and smooth. Let's do another one. Now another thing that's really cool on here is that notice that midway there is another ruler. So when you're lining up your paper, you can really be sure that you're lining it up really straight. That cuts really nicely. Okay, I've also pulled out a piece of the thick, this is the thick Whisper White. Let's give that a cut and see how that works out. Let's do that at five and a half. Oh, that's quite lovely. And then let's check the edges here. Sometimes we were getting some fraying on the edges because the blades didn't cut very well. Now, I don't know anything about the blades. I don't know if they've improved the blades or what they've done with the blades. I know that you can, when this becomes available, you can order blades right away, which I did. And they come in packs of four. So these are the four cutting blades. Um, I don't know how long they're going to last. That I, I can't tell you right now because none of us have had it long enough to know. But I do have to admit that I do prefer to cut my cardstock, whether it's the thick cardstock or regular cardstock. I do prefer to use a guillotine cutter. I have um, a small one and a large one. And my large guillotine cutter is close to where I store my cardstock. So I just automatically cut my card bases over there on that table. And I mostly use my trimmer for trimming. Trimming meaning, you know, trimming small pieces. So again, notice we've got, oh, look, I just noticed that. This is a wider uh, right-hand side from the old trimmer. The old trimmer, I think, only went to... The old trimmer only went to one and a quarter inches. See that? And the new trimmer goes to three, a little past three and a quarter. That's fantastic. So now you can cut wider strips on the right hand side. I love that. I love that. So um, let's just cut regular cardstock and see. Um, how that cuts. Five. I want to go to five and a half. Lovely. Okay, let's do some scoring while we're at it. Hey, I can see some people now. Tanya and Laura and Jan is watching. Oh, this is pretty exciting. What do you think, girls? Did you get your trimmers yet? Um... I was so looking forward to getting this because we've been talking about it for quite a while. Um, okay, I want to score now. So I'm going to leave my cutting blade up here and pull up my scoring blade. And let's go to four and a quarter. There we go. And let's give that a score. Oh, that's kind of smooth. Oh, and a good score. I don't know why, but my other trimmer never scored very well. It was never very deep. Um... Tanya, yours is in the mail. Well, hopefully it comes soon. It's it's pretty cool. Well, I'm happy about the scoring because that's way better than my other trimmer. I'm not quite sure what this little hole at the top is for. You certainly aren't going to put that on a lanyard and wear it around your neck. 
I wouldn't think. <laughs> anyway, um, there you go. My first review with the trimmer. I think I'm liking it. I like that it's so light and it's not as wide or as thick as the old one either. So, um, uh, I wonder if it's any longer. And you know what else I'm enjoying? I'm enjoying the fact that it's it's um, it's a complete rectangle, rectangular shape. Other than this, this little bit at the top, you see how it's notched out in the top. Not quite sure what that's all about, but um, it's very rectangular compared to this one, which had this you know curve in it. Oh, it's way lighter. Way way lighter. Let's see if it's the same size. I'm going to say it's a tad taller or wider. A little bit wider too. And this arm is wider. See that? Arm is wider. Now what I was hoping, um, notice on my old trimmer what I did here on this um, ruler on the side here because it was clear it was very very hard to see the markings and I have been doing you know I do over the top over time do quite a few fun folds and so I'm scoring kind of in the middle of the cardstock and I wasn't able to see um, the marks on here so I just put a piece of just copy paper on here so I was kind of hoping that maybe this new trimmer would ha they would have painted it maybe in white underneath it so I may end up putting another strip of white copy paper on there I'm not sure um, the notch on top is to hang up oh you figure that Jen it's pretty wide for a hook I don't know but that's a good guess it's the best guess so far um, Underneath does look quite different. Like I was saying earlier, there's no um, storage section, but that makes it lighter. And I never used my storage anyway. So that looks good. So, ladies, I think I'm just about wrapped up, unless there's anything else you want me to show you. I think um, I'm good to go. Now, I'm doing Facebook Live on my phone in landscape mode, and... I don't know if I can see the rest of, oh, the earlier comments. Mine came today. Oh, Jan, good. You got yours? Good. Who else is saying? I look underneath. Okay. The top notch is to hang up. Okay, I think that's all the comments. Thank you so much for popping in. Hey, Laura, have you ordered one yet? Or are you going to order one after my, my review? What did you think? I think it's going to be a good one. Anyway, I won't keep you any longer. Thank you so much for popping in, ladies. If you have any other comments or you later discover some things that I didn't mention, let me know. The metric part is really exciting, I think. Yeah, so that's good. All right, thank you so much. Um, bye for now.